So this is what can happen if a neighbor is none too happy with you. Chris did okay. I did all right. Chris, shocking. Chris did okay. Chris, Chris performed well. Uh, okay. Can we get that under into this open air greenhouse? I ran out of Dunkin' Donut, so I had to break out that bag of coffee. Well, in doing so, it was a good thing because the coffee was phenomenal. And then when I would make the coffee, the smell of it, Katrina just said, oh, it smells great. There we go. All right. Do you like my new covers up front? The window covers? The window Actually, covers. This is the first time I'm seeing them, so let me go see. Look. Well, good afternoon, everyone. We are back at home base. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, Katrina and I, we have a home base and uh, it's there's no house on the property and uh, we parked the RV out back. <clears throat> so let me go out here. We got the RV set up, the Class A set up right here, parallel with the greenhouse. Usually I park it perpendicular here, I'll show you. You can see where she was parked for a few months last year. This time I decided to park it uh, parallel, but we're, we're going to try something. We got an open section here of the greenhouse where some other vehicles are stored. That's where the Class C is right now. That's where it's been for since we winterized it and we went down to Florida. What I'm looking to do, what I'm hoping to do, and this is going to be close, I'd like to store the Class A in this section right here, if it's possible. There's already one Class A and a trailer in there. There's this Class C Francis, and this up here, is it's close. I think that's about 12, eight. I wanna say the Class A is under 13. I know it's under 13. I measured it one time. I'm pretty sure I, I, it's gonna be close. I may have to dump the air to get it in here. I hate to sit it out back and have it, you know, exposed to the elements. I can park it here, put all the slides in, and um, just hook it up with for the power and it would be okay. We have some things we need to do to the Class C. So we have a, a few weeks to try to do some things. Some of the things have changed just unexpectedly. We we've, we've gone back and forth on what we were, whether we were going to take a spare tire, what kind of battery setup we were going to have. Are we going to go with the Blue Eddy? We're still working on that. We're trying to scramble and get some things done at the last minute because that's how Chris rolls. I'm, I, I should be more prepared, but it's just one of those things where we've gone back and forth. One day, we were like, let's take a spare tire. And then another day, we're like, yeah, maybe not. Let's not. So we kind of go back and forth, and we're still doing that. And that's a that's amazing when you know we got about two weeks left to go before we're on the road. Um, I, it's not going to stop us from going on the road. We just I just want to maybe get a few things to make sure we're covered. It would be nice to have a spare tire. So what exactly are we working on? What are you doing right now? I am working on reservations for Alaska and Canada. You mean to tell me all the reservations haven't been made yet? No. What's all that about? I don't know. We're kind of last minute kind of things, aren't we? We? Yeah, let me check that mouse in my pocket. Nope, it's you. So what yes. have you been doing with yourself this entire time? Well, I, you know, it's kind of a group effort, so we're working on it. What group? The, 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 you are the planning committee. There is no group. Mm, that's not true. Is there a group I don't know about? Yeah, there is. Can you share that with me? No. This could be an issue <laughs> on our trip. We could be doing a lot of um, boondocking. boondocking and parking on the side of the road. But we do plan on doing that. Yeah, I don't think we're doing a lot. Well, maybe like 50 50? Maybe more than 50. <laughs> um, Bring your sleeping bag. Maybe we need another member of the planning committee to um, push back on some of those proposals from the head of the planning committee. Okay, go ask Tucker. Oh, you know what? We could add Tucker, so there would be three. You, me, and Tucker, and we all know how Tucker would go. That's right. There's only one way to vote, and that's with the head honcho. Really? Yes. You're outnumbered two to one. I could bribe him with some treats. <laughs> bribe, bribe him with some treats. That's okay, because I'll bribe him with some love. Oh, whatever. All right. 
I just feel like there's so much to do and so little time to do in it. I don't have so much time and so little to do. Strike that, reverse it. So but what's that's what makes this really interesting, this trip. And that, well, it's a, you know, it's gonna be exciting because once again, we are winging a lot of the, uh, the trip. Let me run back out here and see what else I can get into. Okay. Now, Fairbanks, Alaska is known as the land of the midnight sun. And during the midnight sun season, which I th believe runs from late April to late August, you can wake up in the middle of the night and there's daylight. So you get those longer days, if not the 24 hour days of sunlight. That could be a problem for those of us who like the darkness when we sleep. One of the first things I did was uh, I replaced the front shades to the RV. They came with these, when we bought it, they came with these uh, stock, I guess the OEM shades or whatever. And these are terrible, I don't like them. They don't hold up there very well. They got some Velcro that you use and you put the visor down and the ends would flap down and the sides were okay, but I decided to go with something a little bit better. Plus they were a pain to, store. I came up with these. I did some research one online. I, I found these at Van Essentials. They're not a sponsor of the video. I bought these. These are nice. They fold up really nice and they install much easier. I want to make sure that I get total darkness when I go out there. So they're fairly quick and easy to install. They'll do a really good job of blocking out the sunlight. Get them in there nice and tight. That's very easy. And that's that's better than the original pieces that came with the RV when we bought the RV used. I don't even know if they are the originals, but, and so I like these better, much nicer. I think once we get these set up, Katrina's gonna like that. Look how nice that is. That, that does a really good job of covering this up, keeping the daylight out. So it's just one of the small things we're doing in order to get prepared. Now, I think for the back windows, what I'll do is, I'll wait till I get up to Alaska and go to the local hardware store and get some of that uh, foil type insulation. I'm not sure what they call it. Cut it to fit, put it in the window. I've seen other channels do that before over the years and block out and get as much darkness in here as possible. So that's fine. That's just one small thing. Well, this is what happens when you're at home base and your brother-in-law decided to um, up here in this rural part of Maryland. They have open fires. It's not uncommon. So this is what can happen if a neighbor is none too happy with you burning an open fire. So I'll show you what's going on back here. Let me go. Let me go talk to Hans. Open this gate. Once again, this is home base. There he is. So if you so you look over here on the property, Hines will uh, burn junk from work and what have you. I mean, it's really no big deal. We're out here. We're out in the country. So, well, I say we're out in the country. We're out, of course, we're out in the country. We're out in a rural part of Maryland. And this kind of thing is common. And maybe some of you back home are where you live. You do this kind of stuff as well. Every now and then you will get a neighbor that will complain or make a call because they're unsure what's going on. So the fire department will come out and there are certain rules and regulations you have, you have to abide by when you're doing an open burn. And of course, Hans does all those, but the neighbor may not know that. So they'll come out and check with Hans and uh, make sure everything's good to go. But it's fine. It just very smoky. Ah, it's just one of those things while living here. It's all good. All right, back inside for some more work. Imagine that. Chris is working. What is that saying? All work and no play makes for a dull Chris. It's the last thing I want to do is be dull. And his smoke... Oh, man.
The smoke is starting to get to me. <laughs> it's starting to get to my eyes. Okay, back inside. Hey. Hey. Are we are, are we ready? No, not by a long shot. I'm starting there. You want to come see what I'm doing? Yeah, okay. let's go in here and take a look. All right. So we're going to go over a few things. Okay. I'd like to think we're ready, but we're not. And we're just running out of time. It is. And, you know, being Easter being this weekend and whatnot, and still a lot of family and more doctor's visits, um, it's, getting, it's getting closer and closer. Let me shut this door. It's a bit noisy out here. Do you have all the lights on? I have a lot of lights on. I oh. think we, I think, oh, there you go. There we go. All right. Do you like my new covers up front? The window covers. The window actually, covers. This is the first time I'm seeing them, so let me go see. Look. I do think I like them. I'm shocked because. Look I, how nice and, um, look do. how nice and stiff they are. Really? Well, like the other ones sagged. The other ones were droopy. I don't think we need to be talking about stiff and. Well, the other ones things. were droopy. They just like. They, okay. they just couldn't perform. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? They couldn't, they could uh, Okay, sorry, let's they just, could, let's just, All right, let's okay, just whatever. Talk, talk See, just, whatever. <laughs> I mean, come on, really? Um, no, these are nice. I, I, I will say, these, these are nice. Okay. And then they're easy to store. Yeah. All right. And they match really well, so they look good. Chris did okay. I did all right. Chris, shocking, Chris did okay. Chris, Chris performed well? Uh, okay, let's talk about one of the things we're thinking about doing in terms of because we're kind of somewhat concerned about keeping warm and keeping comfortable. Well, the way things are going this year with this El Nino or something, I'm I'm afraid we're going to freeze our butts off. Everywhere we've been this year, even Florida, it's yeah. been colder than normal. Uh, let me tell you something. Oh, by the way, Katrina says I don't wear my hat down far enough, so I didn't say I'm going like to wear that. my hat like this. How's that? Is that better? I so that you can see that. But anyway, let me, yeah. Let me just fix it for oh, you. She's got to fix it. Right. Yeah, that's better. That's just like that. That's good right there. Okay. I'm good to go? Yep. We kind of just figured we're stuck in this rut of cold weather. And that's cool. That's okay. But we've decided to do a few things in terms of... Uh, let me turn this off. Let's talk about some of the heating uh, options we went with. Okay, well, I can't talk about this guy because you purchased it, so you're going to have to talk about this guy. That's my little buddy. That's your little buddy. But this one here... Okay, little buddy. But this one here, it's just an inexpensive little electric yeah. heater. And I tried it out. It's perfect. We have a larger one that we take in the Class A, but uh, we need to conserve space, and uh, this is going to be great. Now, when it comes to the little buddy, there's been a lot of videos have been done on this before. Uh, this is not something we will run at night while we're sleeping. No, we'll run this one at night. If we need to run something. If we can. If we can, we should not have a Well, problem. it depends on the draw, on the batteries. True, that's if true. If we're boondocking, because guys, we are doing a lot of boondocking. We are. Right. I'm just thinking that if we can just get the chill out, at least till we go to bed, and then since Chris gets up before I do, he can turn it back on in the morning before I get up. That's Katrina's well, security like blanket. That idea? No, it's fine. I don't have a problem. And this is my security blanket. Watch a lot of videos on this uh, and I do know that we will not run this during the night. There are some RVers who have ran this during the night, who run it during the night and had no, no issues. In the I would be we're nervous. not taking a, a, an issue. I mean, we're not taking a chance. One other thing I will do is we have a CO detector in here, ca carbon monoxide detector. Guys, make sure you update those every five years. They do have a five-year life expectancy on them. I bought a... Mo a, a cheaper, a smaller one, a secondary one, a backup one that is just a handheld one. I'll show you that or I'll put a link in the description down below just to have a backup. And I'll probably hang it somewhere in the back while we're sleeping at night just for just to be safe. Because one time when we were here, I think it was in, while we were in Hershey, Tucker blocked the CO. Um, he he blocked it he and, and, and he, it. he slept in front of it and he sent the he set the alarm off and i know some of you will have a dog that will um how, how do i say it flagellate is that right okay and, and that will set the it's a little gassy off. a little Let's gassy. Just say gassy. Oh, gassy okay you're so sophisticated well you yeah. and i also got a <laughs> an extra filter uh, I did a video on this, or I mentioned it in one of our videos before. This is a water, under the sink water filter that uh, we have. I want to make sure I have it. Here, Katrina. What's that? Yes. Katrina's going to take the camera. Oh. You're going to take it. I am. And you're going to... I don't even know how to use it. Check this out. Now, yeah. if you can come a little bit closer. All right. 
seriously. If you guys have been watching our videos, when we were in Florida, we did what was called a white elephant and it was a lot of fun. I knew nothing about it. And you get, you, you know, you get together with your friends and you exchange gifts and then you have a little game and some people are allowed to take from you what you thought you were going to get. But anyway, the bag we received had a bag of coffee in it and Katrina took the coffee and put it in the freezer and just put it away. I ran out of Dunkin' Donut, so I had to break out that bag of coffee. Well, in doing so, it was a good thing because the coffee was phenomenal. And then when I would make the coffee, the smell of it, Katrina just said, oh, it smells great. This coffee is um, monkey, monkey cult coffee. Cult. Monkey cult. It's bourbon chocolate chip infused coffee. And this coffee is fantastic. So much so that when we got back to Maryland, I had to have some. He likes it so much that he does not share. I have not tasted it yet. Actually That's smells not... amazing, but no, he won't even share. I'll share anything with Katrina. Oh, yeah. okay. They are not a sponsor of the channel, but guys, we just want to share everything with you and tell you our opinions, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm telling you, this coffee is amazing. I think they're out of Florida, and there are places in Florida that's easier to get this, but I just bought it online. It was free shipping, and I don't have it with me, but they actually wrote me a handwritten note saying, hey, Chris, we really appreciate you trying out the coffee, and they gave us a sample of some free coffee. So I do know that they can ship it at least to Maryland. Hopefully, when we're on the road up in Alaska, they can ship. I got to go to the website and make sure they can ship to Alaska because they don't. I got to stock up on this. So I have three bags of this. Well, you had four, but somebody got into one. Well, I ran out of Duncan, but I'm telling you, this is some fantastic What else coffee. you got over there? Another thing. Now, I know when it comes to crossing over to Alaska, and I shouldn't be, uh, this is, this is Crown, uh, this is the Crown Royal Blackberry Whiskey. I had, I've been looking for this. I finally got a bottle of it. It's pretty good. I really enjoy it between this and peach. Good stuff. You're limited to the amount of alcohol you can take over the border and the border if not i would stock up on this to make sure i had enough on my journey but i can't plus the whole weight issue so i got at least one bottle i'll hold on to that besides that we did get a bottle of the salted caramel and um, i have a couple bottles of wine that i want to take with us and there's some mulling spices and we're going to show you guys in another video how to do that but with the cold weather we're going to get that crock pot out because we're taking it anyway we're going to show you that that was amazing what so, else you got right there well this is ladies well this is katrina shaver she got a shaver, but we're going to share. And I don't use electric razors. We're going to do a lot of boondocking, so I'm not going to be able to... I don't want to shave with soap, water, and all that other stuff. I don't... I've never used electric shaver. I don't really use these. I don't either, but I thought the same thing. I thought, you know what? I probably should get something like that because if I need to shave, I'm not... That's going to take a lot of water. So we'll, we'll share. And fun. last but not least, this was very important to me. I had to have a curling iron. <laughs> Um, you know, believe it or not, I can curl my hair. Yeah, Katrina would like so. me to grow the hair so I could curl it, but and... uh-uh. Actually, it's you get you girls like kind of like that Fabio kind of looking Fabio, you know, long dark. Chris has actually really beautiful curly hair. If I could just get him to just do it now, hopefully we there are no barber shops while we're on this trip, and it'll be a certain length, and he'll just let it go, and then I can use my new con air on his hair. What do you think, babe? I may have to grow the hair due to lack of a good barber, yes. but growing my hair out is brutal. We still have a ton of stuff to do, mm -hmm. and we got some more stuff in today, and we're scrambling and moving around. What are we going to do? I think Katrina and I, when we get closer to crossing over, we're going to be in Montana at some point. And before we cross over, we're going to get rid of any eggs, any vegetables. I think you could do frozen vegetables. But as you guys can see, I mean, look, we're not, it's, we're limited on what we can do. And that's cool. So it's not as if we can put a bunch of stuff in here. No. Okay. We, we got some more things to do, some more things to figure out. This is so exciting, so fun. We're rushed. We got like maybe, Katrina, 10 days, if that. If that. And two of those days will be spent with the grandbaby, so... And we're hoping to do something major, but we don't know yet. It's still a work in progress. And I'm still working to try to figure out a spare tire. So I think what we're going to do is that as we start putting things in the RV, we start filling up the cabinets, putting our clothes and everything like that, we'll show you what we're doing and how much stuff we can get in here because actually we got to watch the weight. But we have more room in here, I really think, than it looks like originally. Like when you look around, you think, oh my gosh, that's so small. But... It's not that bad. We can get a lot of stuff in here. Once and Chris again, only needs like one pair of shoes and one pair of pants. But we still have a, a quite a few things to do here. 
as we get ready to leave, or we're getting closer to leaving, the RV is situated out here. Uh, I think I showed this to you. I believe I showed this to you before. The Class C is here in storage. For those of you who've been regular subscribers to the channel, you know we've been talking about this trip for a while now, and it's now happening. It's getting closer and closer, and we're almost there. So be prepared to be amazed. <laughs> Where did you go, babe? Where'd she go? So that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to continue to stay with us and check out this epic journey. It's epic. And we want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. We really appreciate that. We're really excited. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get to see some of you on this journey. Keep you guys informed of what's going on and all that good stuff. That's right. Let's do it. All right. There you have it, guys. Remember, any day you can get away is a great, great day. day she just bumped me in my butt. That was nice. Because I have this new way of saying it. I want him to do half and me to do half. Oh! And oh, he forgets so let, time. Let, all right, so we'll try it again. Okay, uh, do I do the first half or you do second? Whatever you want to do. Any day you can get away. Is a great day. Was that better? Tell That's us better. what you think. All right, take care, guys. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.